Good day, this is Sedlo, and today we are in the mission editor for another tutorial. Um, this one is about activating a AI um, at specific times that you want them to. Now, the simplest way, most people do it like this, they'll put an AI down and then uh, they will go late activation. And in the mission editor, you can say, uh, you can make a group activate at whatever condition you have. So you do that and all of a sudden this guy will pop into the mission at any time. And that's cool. Um, the issue is like if you have a player in the vicinity of this happening, it could be a little jarring seeing an open space and all of a sudden uh, an AI just appears magically. Um, there is another way to do it. And um, I'll show you how to do that now. Now let's just put a player aircraft down here say to start from parking hot and that's a player and that's going to be us um, we will put a viper next to it here take off from ramp and let's give them a loadout just for fun nice air to air loadout with the gambler's uh, livery cool um, now this just will start right at the mission start but you want it to start a little bit later Instead of clicking late activation, we'll just go uncontrolled. So when the game starts, there'll be a Viper sitting here just doing nothing, uh, which is cool. Um, but in order to get it to start, you have to tell it to start. So under this triggered actions menu here, we're going to add, perform command, right? Scroll down to start, and we're going to call it start Viper on the east. Okay, uh, let's put another Viper down. We're going to put it on our other side here. Start from ramp and controlled. Let's give it different uh, different loadout. And it'll be a cool aggressor one. Again, we're going to go triggered action. We're going to go add, scroll down to start. And we'll call the start Viper West. Okay. So it's cool, we've got triggered actions in here, but we need to actually um, activate those triggers. And we do that right here in our triggers menu. Little housekeeping thing, what I like to do at mission start is set a flag to on. So at, when the mission loads, flag number one will be on. And then we can base all of our future um, triggers on this in terms of timing. So if you say you want some 30, 30 minutes after the start, you could do that. Let's go 30 seconds. And this here is just a label. It helps the mission maker keep track of stuff. Nothing to do. You can just leave it blank if you want to. So condition, time since flag, number one, 30 seconds into the mission. We're going to start, uh, we're going to start this Viper here. So we're going to go AI, task push, Start Viper West. So at 30 seconds in, this guy will start. Here's a little time saving trick. Uh, instead of going through all these triggers again to make a new one, we'll just go clone. Let's just change the uh, values here. We're going to make this 60 seconds, 60 seconds. And we'll change this to start the East Viper. So if this all works out, um, this Viper will start 30 seconds in. This Viper will start 30 seconds later. This one will taxi first. This one will taxi second. Let's give it a try in game. Okay, here we are at the mission start in game. We're in a nice new clean Viper. Our engines are on. These guys aren't. You can see though, they're on the ramp. They got all their missiles and bombs on them, or well, missiles in this case. And this one should start 30 seconds in. So let's accelerate time to 30 seconds. Boom. There's this guy starting up his engine. And as you can see, this guy has not. This one will start at 60 seconds in. Let's fast forward time. Three, two, one, zero. There he is. So he's going to start his engines now. Now this one has started first, so he should taxi first. Let's accelerate time and watch that happen. There he goes. And then this one will follow. So yeah, that's just it. 
it's a little mission making tip. Um, I find it quite useful and I hope you do too. Take care.